All right, but next up, Melin against Shuff. Welcome back to the action. We're coming to you thick and fast here from the York Hall Bethnal Green. Matchroom Sport proudly presents the PartyPoker.com Moscone Cup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a race to five with a 30-second shot clock. Our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Nigel Reese. It's singles, and it's time to meet the players. Representing Team USA, time to meet their rookie. It's Brandon Sharp. Team Europe, he's fast, he's furious. It's the powerhouse, Chris Milley! going to happen in this game but one thing is for sure it's going to get even louder two games of singles left this one and the one after let's join our boys in the box jay helford first up back to jimmy white key match a vital match and the pressure squarely on brandon schaff and he's got a tall order because it's chris melling that's going to oppose him in this singles match second to last of the day and Brandon just waiting for Chris to come to the table, the lag to start things off and how big has the lag been so far? Every match has been hill hill and you definitely want to be breaking when it goes hill hill. And this looks like Brandon just gets the lag over Melling. So Schaff will initiate the breaking sequence here. First track, race to five. Very USA important. To break. And I'll tell you what, if the earliest match today, the first match kicking things off, Mike DeShane and Brandon Schaff was any indication, Brandon Schaff played terrific. He never missed a ball, never put a foot wrong. They got beat 5-4. But it wasn't because of the way Brandon Schuff played. He's got to take that form into this singles match. Jay, you saw that first one. Schuff looks soft. He looks good. He looks good. But tonight has been a story of missed opportunities by both teams. Yesterday's play was pretty stellar. Today's play is very spotty. Melling with the first chance. Two at the back end of the table. First time we've seen him out here tonight. How's that for your first shot? Running side spin on that cue ball off three cushions. Finds the window between the six and the four. And now he can get over to the right hand side of the table. Leave the three on. Yes, Melling. Great human, great technique, honed in the early days playing professional snooker. Got to around 100 in the world, I think, in the world rankings as a professional snooker player, but he is a champion, British eight ball player, Jay. World champion on more than one occasion. He looks pretty comfortable out there right now. It's a kind of a tight fit to shoot this four ball up in the corner. He's got to shoot it by the six ball. Wow, he rammed that ball in the pocket. That's a confident stroke. 
That's a confident man. They call him the powerhouse from Keefley in Yorkshire. Does not lack any self-belief, Chris Bell. Once again, kind of a must-win match for Team USA. They do not want to be behind by two, ra two matches. All they've got today on their side of the board was that miracle win by Archer. And yeah, funny enough, USA owned the Hill Hill matches. And today it's 2-1 in the Hill Hill matches to Team Europe. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more. Real nice first track here by Melling. Just the way you would have wanted to start this one. Chris Melling stamps his approval on rack number one, seals it, and it'll be down to Brandon Shuck to reply. But he's going to have to sit and wait for Melling because Chris will have the break in rack number two. Jimmy, is this the craziest York Hole crowd you've ever seen? You know something? And that's saying something, Jay. It, it truly is because I've seen all the matches here at York Hall, and it just seems like every year it gets louder and louder in a tougher element to try and play in when you're part of the opposition. You know, during the last match, I walked all around this arena, and it looked like everybody had a beer in their hand. Say no more. They're well fortified here. It's it's kind of like being in the world's Are biggest pool to, room right now. You're up to break, leading one rack to nil. Rack number two. Melling with a chance to improve on his lead. At the wing ball, it's a legal break. And once again, a very nice look at an open one. The only problem ball as they sit, the green six. That's the six and eight ball tied up together down there at the bottom of the screen. Nice shot. Chris is not wasting any time. This is a man on a mission. Right away, he's looking at the six. He'd like to be below it. The five is at the far end of the table. So the five to the six will really be the key to watch for in this rack. Well, what he's looking at right here, Jimmy, is shooting the two and getting position on the three where he can break the six eight right now. No. Why? How does he get position to the five? He's oh, going to go from the, the four. Three Sorry, to pardon four. me. The four is right there, Jay. If Not a bad come, spot. If he can come off the edge of the eight. This should be good. Let's no, see. I thought he made the four, but you're right, Jay. With the four right there, that's definitely the shot. Very good. Very well spotted. He couldn't have hit it any better than that. And you know something? Melling is sending a message right now. Fell a little short on that one. A little weak on his stroke there. Yeah, I'm not too sure that cue ball didn't jump. This might have this might have been a kick or a skid. You watch the cue ball, because it looked like it jumped. He just didn't hit it hard enough. Extension cold. Now he's got a tough shot here. He needs a real thin hit here on the five with some velocity. Overcut he overcut it. it. And now, having loosened up the six and the eight, he's just gift-wrapped rack number two here to Brandon Schuff. Well, this is basically his first shot in the match right here. Let's see what he can do with it. He knows from watching Melling run that last rack that he's got to take advantage of every opportunity.
He's moving at a pretty good pace too, Jimmy. Sign of a confident player. This is the way Poole's supposed to be, Jay. Get on with the game. Well done, Brandon Shop. 1-1 against Chris Melling. You know, Jimmy, when you get up there and play like that, you kind of take the crowd out of it. Yeah, and you know what? You also send that message right back to your opponent because it is definitely a sign of confidence. And there's how it's unfolded here on day three. All 5-4 matches, and we're finally poised here on the fourth one. Why stop now? Let's go Hill Hill again. But with a 7-6 lead to Europe, this match takes on added significance. We alluded to it at the top of the program. Brandon under just a little more pressure than is Chris Melling because of that 7-6 European lead. Oh, the massage for Mike Deshane. That's courtesy Sonny of Griffin. Sonny Griffin, yeah. yeah. I don't husband, see one of the top promoters in the United States. Yeah, Mark Griffin. And uh, Mark would love to have been here, but I'm not too sure he likes the cooler USA, weather. USA they to live break. in Henderson, one, one. just off the strip in Las Vegas. Hey, listen, he lived in Alaska for 30 years. <laughs> Rack number three. Lost the cue ball. And I don't think he's given Chris Melling a chance at the one. Or No, he made a ball off the break. But has he got enough of the one here to be able to make it? Got the wing ball, and it's a legal break with the one and the five going past the head string. He can see it, Jay. I don't think he can make it. Well, I don't think he's going to push out here, Jimmy. I think he'll try some kind of safety. If he, yeah, he can't make it. Push. Push out, Cole. Oh, he is calling a push out. I don't know about this. He's pushing out for a jump shot. Sure. Well, still the same amount of that one exposed. Melling might take this shot, though. Yeah, he's got his chin. Right? No, he's, uh, I guarantee you that'll be, the, that'll be the least of his options. He but hasn't he, gone back for a jump cue. No, if he's taking this long, he'll bring him back. No, I don't know. Brandon was halfway out of his chair. Brandon expect to be coming back. And I'll tell you what, Chris wishes he'd have brought him back now. Not a good effort for Melling. Well, first tough shot of this match for Brandon right here. Long one ball. missing shots tonight. Yeah, another look here. That back arm kind of went for a holiday, didn't it, Jay? Yeah. You saw that elbow <laughs> swing out after he cued the white. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Either the pockets are tightening up or their arms are getting tight. He's overhit this a bit. And the six comes to his aid to hold position to the two. I got a funny feeling we're not going to see Chris Melling miss too many balls. He's zeroed in. Wow. Beautiful shot there. Wow. Well, I jinxed him, Jay. I jinxed him. Pressure, Jay. Never discount pressure. What is it about the Moscone Cup, man? These guys all feel the heat. They're all human. Extension, Extension cold. And he's got the bank on the three. You know, that's what he's looking at. He knows he can make it, but the cue ball's going the wrong direction to get on the four. He's got to bank this ball and try to hold the cue ball, I think. You don't think he can pump this? Well, he did. 
He and, pumped it. Yeah, not a friendly kiss on the nine there. He would have come out nice on the four. He's got to shoot a lot. This is kind of like that one ball he missed. He's got to shoot that four up in the corner and bring the cue ball back and forth across the table for the five. A tall order right now. And he's got to keep that head still. Oh. And second prize. I don't think he's left it for Chris Melling, but he did hit this pretty good. That goes in on a lot of pool tables, just not this diamond match table. These pockets are tightening up. They're getting broken. Melling's going to go for the kick shot, and that's actually a pretty big ball to kick at right there. Extension call. That's where you want that object ball, like a quarter to a half inch off the rail. And just to the right of the bottom diamond as we look, right where he's holding his finger. And like you said, Jay, it's a big ball, so next to that right cushion. Well, we know he's going to hit it. And you know what? I'd rather be shooting it than watching my opponent shoot it. It's just far enough off the rail that it can be missed. You mean like that? Wow. Critical error to miss that ball. I'm not too sure he didn't have a little side spin on that cue ball. Unwanted side spin because he contacted the cushion right where he held his finger, but it came off. It just looked like it came off and went a bit right on him. Didn't expect that. Neither did Brandon Schuff, but he'll gratefully accept it. We're all done with doubles matches, Jimmy. It's all singles from here on out. Got a little angle on this six. Be able to get the cue ball back towards the middle of the table. Just draw it out. I like that sound. And it looks like Brandon Schaff is going to be the first player to hold serve. And with it, a 2-1 advantage. And 2-1 confirmed here at York Hall. A point the Americans really have to have. apps at the same time on the same screen the freedom to do what you want when you want let's go again with the quad core powered lg optimus g available from sprint touchdown and here comes the dunk everyone loves to dunk will he dunk it McDonald's tender, juicy chicken McNuggets in creamy ranch and spicy buffalo sauce. Just $4.99 for 20 of your favorite chicken McNuggets. Will he dunk it? Yes, he will. More ways to love McNuggets. On my journey across America, I found new ways to tell people about saving money. This is Bobby. Say hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby! 
Do you know, you could save hundreds on car insurance over the phone, online, or at your local Geico office. Tell us, Bobby, what would you do with all those savings? Hire a better ventriloquist. Your lips are moving. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. At T-Mobile, we've doubled our speed. Not once. Not twice. But three times. And you ain't seen nothing yet. T-Mobile 4G. Now faster and more dependable. Moscone Cup, back at your call, the hallowed your call, a venue that has hosted seven Moscone Cups prior to this year. And what a match we're watching right now. It's 2-1 in favor of the Americans, but the overall score 7-6 in favor of Team Europe, Chris Melling. This is not a good kiss on this cue ball at the end. Watch this kiss by the five. Otherwise, he would have had a shot at the one. It looks like a push-out situation here. He may push out right down to this end rail, the close end rail. He knows the two is at the top end of the table near the one. I think he's got to turn around and push out this Shot way. Cold. See where he's putting his cue? That's where he wants to go. Now, if Brandon can see this one ball, he probably will shoot at it. Well, he's left the angle, though, where he can only drop on the left-hand side of the two as we look, and the two doesn't go by the four into the corner pocket. But having said that, I'd be trying to slow roll this one in, Jay, because he would be able, if he gets it, he's going to be able, be able to play a very good attacking shot on the two. This is like a challenge for Melling to Shuff here. He's opted for the safety. It just looked like he might have been able to slow roll that, even use those colors at the top end of the right. table as blockers if he missed it. Right. He wanted to get the cue ball behind the three and five. Instead, he left. Well, Chris will play the billiard into the four here and try and hold the cue ball behind the two. He almost made it in the side pocket. Kind of an unfortunate roll there for Chris. He didn't want that ball to jar the side pocket like that. This is a real thin hit, but I think Shuff could actually cut this ball in. Problem is, when you cut in a ball this thin, you're gonna turn Thank the cue ball loose. Very difficult to play position here. Let's see what he's doing. Yeah. No, it's going to go too far. Oh, wait, this is not bad. It kind of slowed down. He doesn't want it on top of the nine ball. No good. No good. With the cue ball stopping on top of the nine, it just made this shot three times as difficult. If it was out in the open, he could cut that two ball in. He's shooting at it, but this is hard when you're bridging over the top of a ball. Wow. 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 Some shot there. Best shot he's played to this point in the match. And position to the three as well. You know, Brandon and Chris have enjoyed different fortunes so far in this tournament when they've... Oh, easiest shot you've had. Why is that, Jimmy? The shot after the hard shot. I don't know, Jerry. I, I can't explain Stand that. Down, please. He made the hard shot and missed the easy one. One singles match that Chris played. He won 
four over Dennis Hatch. The one singles match prior Brandon played, he lost. That was a 5-2 decision to Darren Appleton. Well, this is a huge game. I mean, if Brandon could have completed this rack, he'd have a two-game lead. Instead, it's about ready to be tied up to a piece. Now, Brandon had control of this one, though, and he's given it right back to Melling. And now he's got to get all those negative thoughts out of his mind. And a miss like that will just give Chris a lot more confidence. Boy, look at that stroke. Look at that stroke he put on that ball. That's a confidence stroke. Yeah, it looks like he can only drop below the nine here. Just roll this in, play the nine into the top pocket. Or is he going to try and draw this out? Well, I'll tell you, Mel. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Look at wow. Oh, that was dangerous. A shot. Dangerous, but he obviously <laughs> felt like the rewards were there. And Melling with the clenched fist. He likes to let that cue out, no doubt about it. I know Chris very well. But he's one of the few players. Maybe Earl Strickland might have played that shot like that. That's the biggest stroke we've seen this week right there. I hope we can see that shot again. I mean, he unleashed some fury on that shot. Look at this. The old whoop de doo He was flirting with a side pocket, though. Tremendous cue power. And again, letting everybody know how he felt about it. <laughs> he didn't really have to do all that, did he, Jimmy? I like your idea of playing short rail position. It seemed the prudent way to go, but again, I'm not Chris Mellon. It worked. shot with a chance to silence them. He's got a ball down. He shot at the one ball. He could bank the one. The problem here is the seven and eight are tied up. No, he, uh, he actually came up dry there, Jay. Oh, he no did. Nothing down, but one thing about it, he's got an insurance policy, Brandon, the seven and the eight near the bottom left corner. I gotta learn how to count up to nine. Yeah, but you gotta take your shoes and socks off. <laughs> he probably banked this ball. I mean, the way he's playing right now. Try and straighten it out. Safety. You're right. You're right. He was trying to hide behind those balls. And I'm not sure if he did it or not. I'm also not sure whether he's bumped that eight out enough where the seven may be available. He's not happy with his effort. That we can be certain. Yeah, he wanted to get past that eight ball. Yeah, I think that seven is still the key ball in this rack. That looks pretty good. I don't know whether Brandon can get through to this, but even if he can, this is a tricky safety. Looks like he could shoot straight. Yeah, he can hit the one ball, but this is a lot to ask for to cut this ball in. All right, he's just looking to duck here somewhere, Jay. Come across the ball like that. Uh, there's a window there, and I think he's left it. And he, I think his body language tells us that. Chris can get through to this. He's going to have to come with another shot, though, to get positioned to the two from here. Can he see enough of the one to cut it in? It's well, a narrow opening here. If you saw Brandon's reaction as he went back to the chair, that told you everything. <laughs> Got to miss the four. This is good. This is real good. He's going to have to.
to do it from the six then. The seven and the eight still hold the key to this rack. The next four balls are out in the open. So right now, Chris will start thinking about the angle he wants on that six. And that's exactly what he's looking at. Make the five into the same pocket. Where do I want to be on the six? He's got to come all the way down table off the six to break these two balls up. You know what? He would like to be somewhere near where he was just shooting that ball from. Just around the middle, just past the middle if he can get there. Now he may have to try and drop below it. You know, there's another option. If he gets below the seven and eight, he could shoot the seven away and stick the cue ball on the eight. A lockup safety like that. As good as making it, Jay. Yeah. Does he have the angle to draw into the seven? That's what he's looking at. Can he draw the six right back into the seven and eight? I think he's going to draw or go one rail across the table. No, he's drawing it. You're right. Well, this shot, this is a chance he shot at best. Chris Mellon playing with supreme confidence right now. Pretty good cue ball control there on that draw shot. I think he's going to run into the eight here, too. Wow. Doesn't mind if it goes in. He's on the nine. Chris Melling, come on down. This is your time to shine. 3-2, he leads Brandon Schott. Tremendous play. two apps at the same time, on the same screen. The freedom to do what you want, when you want. Let's go again. With the quad-core powered LG Optimus G. Available from Sprint. Touchdown! And here comes the dunk! Everyone loves to dunk. Will he dunk it? McDonald's tender, juicy chicken McNuggets in creamy ranch and spicy buffalo sauce. Just $4.99 for 20 of your favorite chicken McNuggets. Will he dunk it? Yes, he will. More ways to love McNuggets. Video Zoom. And now, run two apps at the same time, on the same screen. The freedom to do what you want, when you want. Let's go again. With the quad-core powered LG Optimus G. Available on AT&T.
watching the Moscone Cup, nail biting time. But they're all enjoying it here at your call. And why not? Thank you, Rock Six. This is like a football crowd here, Jimmy. That's exactly what it's like. 7 6 right now in favor of Team Europe. And Melling 3 2 ahead to try and get Europe two points clear. They've never been two points clear. You see the graphic, first team to 11 points wins the Moscone Cup. Every point critical now. You're right about that. One ball down, he's got a shot at the two. He's looking to cut the two past the nine into that lower left corner. You know, Jay, we're at the back end now of day three, and every match, every ball takes on added significance. Huge shot right here, and he knows it. The natural angle takes the cue ball up for the three. Definitely worth the risk. Two nine? No, that's Extension that's cold. desperation. That doesn't make sense because you're giving up a shot if you miss can't, this yeah, one. I just can't see it. Does the two go by the nine into the corner? Maybe it doesn't. Well, that's, I, yeah, it goes. It goes. Uh, how can he not play the two into the corner pocket and go up for the three? I'm with you on that one, Jimmy. I, I can't believe the shot I just saw him play. And even though he's taking the cue ball up into the safe area, he had a chance to win the rack right there. That was kind of a tentative shot. I mean, it, it was a two-way shot with a safety built in, but... Now, I'm going to be asking Chris about that one, Jay. I'll talk to him later. I'm going to ask him exactly what he was thinking there. Yeah, if he makes the two and goes up table, he's got a chance to run the rack, and he played a very difficult com combination. Extension cold. Meanwhile, it's not Brandon's shooting off the end rail at a two ball that <laughs> had a very stingy pocket, too. Yeah, I don't know whether he can see enough of the two to make it, but can't get back up table for the three off it. Well, not if he'd have made it, because he would have cannoned into those colors and stayed down this end of the table. But he's given Melling a chance now. Well, it turned out Chris's strategy was a good one. Brandon got up table for the three, just forgot to make the two. Yeah, but as we know, Jay. You change the angle of making a ball, the cue ball doesn't end up where it is when you miss it. A nice opening shot there by Chris. Every chance now to get to the hill. He's looking to see if the five will go in the side past the seven. I guess there's a window there. Yep. He wastes little time. He just gets down and pulls the trigger. Long, straight queuing action. The envy of many top pros. And he loves to compete. A couple balls away from reaching the hill. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. Yeah, it shows the way he lets the cue ball loose. Yeah. And when you expect good things to happen, more times than not, they do. He is controlling his own destiny right now. 4-2, Chris Melling in front of Brandon Schultz. And this would take Team Europe two points clear. And Jay, as Melling talks to Nick Vandenberg, Niels Fyen, if he goes through and wins this match, how much pressure is on Shane Van Boning? Well, then it becomes an absolute must-win match. They've got to pull within one going into the last day. There's Johnny. He's kind of the playing coach this week. Trying to keep him positive. But it was a miss on the two from Brandon Schaff right here. He must have been able to see enough of it. And he thought he could get back up table for the three. This was the miss that 
proved to be the difference in this rack. But you like what you see from Archer. He's the MVP on and off the table for my money, regardless of the end result. Yeah, people were questioning his choice, but I think he's the man to have on Team USA. He won that miracle match, the only point they got today. 4-2 in favor of Chris Melling. Here's a good break. But the one got tough. Made the two ball up in the corner. Now looking to find some cover. Got to be real careful now, Brandon. You can't afford any more mistakes, and you've already seen the sort of form that your opponent has displayed. He's got to find a real good safety here. You get the feeling if he lets Chris have a look at this one ball, it might be all over. Nothing wrong with that safety. Now you can sell that everywhere they play pool. Excellent shot, that one from Chef. Melling taps the table in acknowledgement. You know, I gotta say though, Brandon looks totally unfazed. Well, apart from there, he's got to block all this out. This is a very hard ball to hit. If he's going to the right, to miss the eight ball, to miss the eight ball and hit the one. You know, when you're when you're kicking off a short rail like that, this angle's going to open up, Jimmy. I'm not so sure he can hit this ball this way. Oh, he can hit it, Jay. It's just difficult to judge, but he'll play it with left hand spin. It's a big ball near that top cushion. Boy, did he ever hit it? He made it. Why not? Yeah, good news, bad news. Great shot, but obviously Chris is real thrilled with where the cue ball's finished in relationship to the three. But I'd rather be at the table than not. Well, if he can find a way to make this three ball, he's shooting at it. Yeah, because it can be a match winner. Down to the lower left. And it might well be. Superb shot making, courtesy of Chris Melling. He split the wicket on that one. This could be bye-bye Brandon. The sporting hero, Manny Pacquiao, well, he's the one delivering the knockout punch here. Just the middle of the table will do anywhere. Thank you. This is probably the most impressive display we've seen by any player tonight, right here. I agree, Jay. Melling is in form. And we've just seen it clearly illustrated. Look at him. For the first time, Europe, two points clear. Chris Melling deposits the nine. Eight six confirmed here at your call. Tons of pressure on Shane Van Boning now. And he'll be up against the world number one.